without the light or oh, the darkness come hold through the night mm, the shadows will run Hello YouTube, Wildcat Piper coming from the Wildcat Lounge. Hope everybody's doing great this evening. <laughs> this is take two. My take one was done completely without a microphone and I've been trying to use a new microphone that I got just to make it easier for you guys to hear me. I know sometimes I can be very quiet and uh, when I leave and listen to my videos, I think, wow, I need to speak up. But uh, so I got me a, a microphone and it wasn't plugged in. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing great tonight. Um, it's good to be back with you. It's been a little bit. Uh, tonight I'm smoking my um, Molina pipe. I uh, really like this pipe. I love the color of it. I love this little black acrylic band that's on there. And I love the brass, how it sets that up. And I like black pipes. I think black pipes look great. Um, I think they are uh, just awesome, awesome pipes. And uh, in this great pipe, tonight I'm smoking some Northwoods. And uh, Northwoods is a great blend when it's cold out. And uh, it's cold. <laughs> Here in Kentucky, we're not used to being this cold this fast, and we're definitely not used to being to seeing snow on the ground this early, but yet we have both. We have it cold, and we have about an inch, inch and a half of snow on the ground. And pairing with it tonight, I'm drinking some coffee. It is some uh, Black Rifle coffee. It's their blend called uh, Black Powder, which is their instant coffee, and it is mighty good. I know some of you coffee snobs out there are going, instant coffee, but I'll tell you what, this is some good, good coffee. So, <laughs> haven't been around here in the... Uh, I think it's maybe been a month since I've done a, a video. I apologize for that. Not that I haven't been watching you or listening to you or seeing what everybody's been doing. It's just been crazy at work. Uh, we've got some new hires in there and been going in early. Just a crazy time just like everybody else <laughs> you know i am nobody special everybody has their craziness mm. this is northwoods is perfect for the winter time mm, mm, mm. That campfire, the, the Latakia in it, oh man. That's why it's my favorite blend. I just, just love it. And when you guys, those of you who've been uh, around my channel for a while know that every time I smoke it, I kind of like... <laughs> It's like all over again. I'm like, woohoo! You know, it is just really good, good tobacco. I'm so thankful for Boswell's. And I'll tell you what, I know there are probably people out there that pair tobacco with uh, different drinks. I don't think you can beat coffee. I really don't. I think um, tobacco 
pairs great with coffee. Um, if I drink it, drink it with a Diet Pepsi, it burns my mouth. Coffee is just really, really good. As you all know, <clears throat> I have been talking to you about kind of another hobby of mine, and it's probably best summed up all things blades. Um, everything from knives. Um, you guys know I've been been working on uh, a couple of axes that I have. Um, I kind of been working on this handle, trying to darken it up a little bit. Um, I just all things blades, and one of them are some of my knives. I am a knife buyer, <laughs> I guess. I don't know if I would say I'm a knife collector, because to me, when I think of someone who collects things, they look for the rare, they look for the maybe the expensive, and I don't. I work for work. I I, I buy for working knives, knives that just are cheap um, but I think well put together and one such one such company that does a great job with this is a company called Schrade and uh, this is their uh, pocket knife it's the 303 S uh, S standing for serrated this is one of their serrated edges uh, I'm not a big fan of serrated edges Matter of fact, when I ordered this knife, I thought I ordered the 303 uh, plain edge. Uh, I looked at my order, and it was the 303 plain edge, and I was going to send it back. And I got to thinking, you know what? I kind of like that serrated edge. Um, it's different than some serrated edges I've seen. Super sharp. And so I said, I'm just going to hang on to it. And this knife was under. 20 bucks. Uh, it was under 20 bucks. It's a very sharp knife. This is a, a super knife as far as there's no wobble or wiggle in it. It has a great uh, lock locking mechanism in it. The, the liner lock, I think that's what they call it. Um, I like it because it's easy to engage. Um, some of them I think hurts your fingers, your thumb when you try to move it over a bunch because this is my fidget toy. <laughs> drives my wife nuts, it drives my dog nuts. But I just, I love to fidget with, with, uh, with knives. And this one's so easy to do because it's got such a great um, liner lock on it to, to disengage it and to fold it up. And they're cheap. I've got a bunch of shred knives, fixed knives, large knives, small knives. I've got all of them. And uh, I'm going to show my um, uh, my purchases, <laughs> maybe not collection, but I, my collection of knives that I've collected. There is nothing fancy or expensive about them. They're all pretty, pretty cheap. As a matter of fact, the most expensive knife I own is this one right here. It's a Benchmade. Um, this is called the Benchmade Freak. Um, this knife was a little over $100, but I had a gift card. <laughs> so when I ended up purchasing it, I, I purchased it for about 50 bucks, 60, 40, 40 or 50 bucks. So I still got it in a great deal. It, it's a good knife, and I've carried it a lot. Um, but... These shreds, man, I just you can't be in the CKRTs. I love them too. I've got a bunch of those. Um, got some neck knives and fixed knives. Not as I don't have CKRT uh, fixed knives, but I got some folding and neck knives. But uh, great knives. Uh, just uh, and you know the thing of it is too is if I was to do something to the to this blade. I mean, I have cut boxes with it. I, I um, opened a door with it. You know how you stick it in and pull the little latch back and then you can push it forward. Um, open a door with it. Um, I was prying on something a little bit and did not, has not ruined that point, done anything to the point. 
Only thing I've done with this knife is sharpen it. Um, every once in a while I clean it too. <laughs> and uh, but it's it's just a fantastic, fantastic knife. And um, and so, but I I enjoy messing with knives, and axes. Uh, my wife doesn't understand why I want to buy a bunch of axes. And uh, again, I just try to get purchase the cheap ones. Like, um, this is the Husqvarna. Um, this is maybe 40 or 50 bucks, maybe. Maybe 50 or 60 bucks, I can't remember now. But, um, uh, it's a great axe. And, uh, it's got a good edge on it. I, uh, I sharpened it, and uh, are there sharper axes out there? Yeah, there are, and uh, you you pay you pay for those sharper axes. I wanted to show you this other one. This is a council tool. Um, I've got a leather overstrike guard on it, uh, just leather cordage. Um, this is a great, great axe, 38 bucks, and um, I really, really like it. I think it's a 20, 28 inches on the handle, but I like it. I like it. I've, I've split some wood with it. Um, it's done great and um, not expensive. There, there. Now, would I like to get one? There's one that kind of expensive one. It's 136. It's the Council Tool Pack Axe. I'd love to get that one, but it's 136 bucks, and it's really hard for me to <laughs> explain that because we don't live in the woods. I live in the city, and uh, we have a fire pit, and that's about the extent of my wood chopping. <laughs> But I just, uh, on, you know, collecting them, I just like to collect them. Same thing with knives. I just, I just, I like all things blades. But uh, I'll do that. I will get show you guys my collection here maybe. I know I promised it already, but I'll try to get that done. That's really about all I had uh, for you guys tonight. I hope you guys are having a great night. I uh, hope you're staying warm, or if it's nice and warm where you're at, I hope you're enjoying the weather. Um, <clears throat> the holiday season is fast approaching, so I hope you're going. You're got great plans for that. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different holiday for for my family. We're going to. You know, every time you lose a loved one, you go through the first year of all the firsts. You know, the first, she's, we had our first birthday without my mom, and now first Thanksgiving, first Christmas, first Easter. Those are not fun to go through. But... You know, death is a hundred percent assured. You know, but I hope you guys have a great night. Hug somebody, stay warm. Above all, blow some smoke rings in the air. But above all, my friends, you be blessed. I'll talk to you soon. This Northwoods is fantastic. Bye now.